Hello everybody and welcome to episode 39. Uh, today we're going to be looking at making our equipment that we have selected toggle. So at the moment we just have the bombs there because it's the only item we have. I'm going to make it so when we press Q and E uh, we can toggle between our different items. Um, it turns out when I originally wrote the script I hadn't really planned for what buttons would cycle the equipment so I haven't actually made alternatives for the arrow keys. Um, in fact originally I just had it all on Q um, so I had to write some extra stuff to make it go forward and backwards with Q and E. Um, but we're just going to work with that today. Um, I think that's that's good enough for what for what we need. Um, so it's just the item that's in this little blue box is going to change based on uh, pressing Q and E. It's going to allow us to cycle um, um, in two directions through our different items, but only specifically the items we have unlocked. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to close this and I'm going to come to O player and come to the step event because. Um, as I say, I didn't really plan for this um, very well when I was writing the original script, it turns out, and we didn't even make a key item variable, I just literally did keyboard check <laughs> E uh, when I was writing the original code. So we don't want to do that, we want to do it a bit better than that, so we're going to define two new keys in here, okay? Um, first of all, uh, let me zoom in here so we can actually see it a little bit better, and then I'm going to write key uh, item select up is going to equal keyboard check Pressed ord E. Um, I don't know what keys you might want to do as alternatives for um, the arrow keys or also for pad, etc. I'll leave that one for you to work out. I've shown you how to do it with the or statements above. Um, keyboard check pressed uh, ord Q. And I've said up or down, it could be left or right or whatever direction you kind of want to envision this means, <laughs> okay? Um, it is what it is. Um, so key select up is that, and key select down is that. Next up, we're going to pay a visit to uh, O game, um, that old object, and hit up the create event. And just in this little temporary section down here, where we were adding stuff to unlock uh, the bomb and give it some temporary ammunition, uh, we're going to do the exact same thing with the bow as well. So I'm going to write global dot player item unlocked uh, item dot bow. And um, we don't need the ammo right away, but I'm going to do it now for the sake of the next episode, which is going to deal with the bow. Uh, player ammo item dot bow is going to equal 15. Okay. Oh, oops, I'd realized I've just written that and not actually written equals true. <laughs> there we go. Kind of an important part of it. All right, next up, I'm going to press control T again, and I'm going to look for player uh, state free. What's the name of our uh, free state function? Uh, let's maximize this, raise the font size. I'm just going to come right to the bottom of this, just where we did our use items section before. I'm going to call a new section uh, cycle items. Okay, and that's literally what it's going to do. Uh, first of all, I'm going to check if we have any items. So if global.player has any items, because if we don't, we can handily skip this whole section. Um, then I'm going to make a new variable called var underscore uh, cycle. Direction is going to equal key item select up minus key item select down. You might remember this logic, um, you know, when we want to cycle in uh, a direction, like oh, I think we did this for left and right movement in the platformer series. Um, but basically, since these will always equal uh, zero or one, depending on whether or not the button is pressed, uh, by taking the one we want to move positively and subtracting the one we want to use to move negatively. That's going to give this a value between minus 1 and 1, depending what combination of these we've got pressed. If we've got them both pressed, it'll be 0. Neither pressed 0. Uh, if we're just pressing um, E, it'll be plus 1. If we're just pressing Q, it'll be minus 1. All right, and now that's very useful because we can check to see if that doesn't equal 0, we want to actually cycle in one direction or the other. So if uh, cycle direction uh, does not equal 0, and this up. Um, we're going to do a um, something we've never actually done before, something I've never actually done before, weirdly, um, but it's very useful for this exact situation. And we're going to use a do function. <laughs> I've never used this before in my life until uh, scripting this episode, and I should have done. Uh, actually, there are a few cases where I should have done. Um, it's very similar to a while statement in that we do do, and it will do everything in this uh, in this block until uh, some condition that we write on the end of here is no longer true. You might think, well, what's the difference between that and doing a while 
statement and doing while not something or other. And there's very little difference. But the key difference between um, doing do until and doing a, a while not something is that do until will do the thing in the block at least once. Okay, so it's going to do this initially and then check the condition. And if that condition isn't true, um, it'll keep it'll keep doing whatever's in the block. All right. Whereas a while statement is going to check um, the condition right away. And if that condition isn't uh, true, then it will just never do any of the things. Because what we want to happen is we know if cycle direction is not zero, we want to move at least one item. Uh, but we want to check to see if that item is an item we even have unlocked. Because if we move one item along from, say, item bomb to item bow, but we haven't unlocked bow yet, we want to skip over to item hook. Maybe we have got the hook shot, but we haven't unlocked the bow yet, for example. So we want to keep moving. So we know we want to move at least once, but we're not quite sure how many times we want to move. Um, so we're, this is a perfect use case for a do until loop, where we'll move once, and then we're going to check if uh, the item... Uh, that we're on is actually unlocked and if it's not we'll keep doing this we'll just keep adding one until we find one that um or, or we'll, and we'll wrap around as well until we find one that is unlocked even if it lands us back on the same item we had initially selected right um so we'll write the condition in first just to make that clear so we want to do this until we land on an item that we can actually use all right one that is unlocked so until global dot player uh, item unlocked, open square bracket, global dot player equipped, close square bracket, close regular bracket, semicolon. Um, so until that's true, we want to keep cycling. Um, so first of all, global dot player equipped plus equal cycle direction. And remember that's either going to be one or minus one because we know it's not zero. Okay, so we're either going to add one or we're going to subtract one. Okay. Um, if global dot player uh, equipped uh, is less than one, uh, remember item type uh, of zero would be item type none. Um, so if it's less than one, global dot player equipped equals item dot type uh, underscore count minus one. All right. Um, so that's going to take us to whatever the last type of item is, because remember, this is the last one. So we go to the last one, subtract one, and that'll give us um, item hook in this case, right? Um, if, however, global dot player equipped is greater than or equal to item dot type count, that means um, we added one and we've gone over the maximum number, uh, global dot player equipped equals one, all right? Uh, we don't have, we could specify item dot bomb we know that's the first one um but just in case that changes we just set this to one so it's going to give us the first one in that that different list of item types in our enums all right now just make sure uh all your braces are closed properly um i'm sure i've gone over this before but just to check you can like just select if you just drag and highlight the braces you can see that they match up um we haven't forgotten any and then i can just press f5 um, hopefully I haven't forgotten anything, the game loads up just fine, and then I press uh, Q or E, and we swap between uh, the bombs and the bows. Um, it's not really clear that the direction is doing anything because we don't have the hook unlocked, although I could quickly demonstrate that, I suppose, if we go back to a game, and I just quickly like copy-paste this line uh, but for item hook. You can test this yourself or, or whatever you want to do if we just unlock everything. You can see I go bomb, bow, hook, and then if I press the other direction, we'll go bow, bomb, right? Bomb to bow, bow back to bomb, bomb to bow to hook, to bow, to bomb, to bow, to hook, to bomb, over the, you know, wrapping around again, to bow, and so on, right? You can see. It's the first time we've actually demonstrated the ammo thing working as well here, because the hook doesn't have an ammo associated with it. It's minus one, so it's not showing the ammo there, just from previous episodes. Okay, you can see that all works, okay? I'm going to... We don't want the hook unlocked right away though, so... Oh, actually, actually, we'll, mm, will we do the hook before we do the shop? You know what, I'm going to leave it as unlocked. We're going to leave it as unlocked for now, and uh, when we actually put the shop in, then we'll uh, <laughs> we'll come back and we'll get rid of all these. I'm just going to leave that in, okay? Um, that's cycling items. I um, hope you enjoyed that one, and I'll catch you all on the next part where we implement the bow. 
shout out in particular and in no particular order to the following patrons. Zardrian, Troy Nall, Blunt BSE, Timothy Hare, Jiminy Whippets, Patrick Sheese, JD O'Dea, Josh Furbin, Adrian.exe, Eric Santana, Gary, Isaac Miller, Darth Wolf, Jake Rumsey, Tranquil, Harvig, Elizabeth and Landon Brown, James Ballard, Gage Hunter, Julian Cropley, Michael Kolich, John Kenai, Stephen Chenier, It's Matt Poor, Rachel Stewart, Arctics, Feral Princess, John C., Jordan Hake, Vacants, Phil Keen, Jason Welch, Andrew Gilbert, The Paleon, Reva, Kaiser Ho, Figgy, Cabbage Pants, Yoram Pater, Samir Nyai Legaglow, Rene Dam, Rupinder, Dark Rider 0318, Jason, Relentless Rex, Bertie T, Daka Dondigo, Robert Churches, James Grimley, Jonathan, Basil the Dog, Raildor, and Max M. Thank you all so much and thank you for watching. I'll catch you all next time.